so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> it's me your girl barista neze and this is nezeville this gist has been long coming it is long overdue <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> if you are, just go ahead and grab your cup of coffee, juice, wine, champagne, whiskey, tequila, whatever it is you love to drink. Grab a glass and surround the fireplace. It's time for some Tales by Sunset. <laughs> Today's crazy week that was begins with Queen and the baby dada drama. But wait first, we are used to hearing baby mama issue, baby mama drama. We have never for the life of us heard baby dada drama. But here we go. Queen Mercy Atang was a former BB Niger, Big Brother Niger housemate. She was in the season 6 Shine Your Eyes set. The batch that had Maria, Liqua Rose, Pere, White Money in it, Yoa. That set. After Queen got evicted from the Big Brother show, she very much faced her lane and was minding her business, doing her influence in Jejeli and not disturbing anybody. She pretty much stayed away from controversy and we loved her for it. Sometime in December of 2022, we woke up to stunning photos of Queen on her Instagram page and we were not perturbed at all. We thought that it was one of these numerous unending photo shoots that all these Big Brother Niger housemates keep dishing and rolling on the internet whenever they are bored man, 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 they have gone to studio snap picture and start releasing we thought it was one of those ones so we were just watching it scrolling and admiring it until something caught our attention something unusual caught our eyes <coughs> we could add uh -uh. <coughs> queen assistant get me my spectacles mba, mba, mba. bring me my googles queen do you mean to tell us that you just consumed a bowl of fufu that is making your belly to swell like this? Oh, na belly, <laughs> na real belly with a sisu. Hey, kaite belly. Me, yo. Queen, Queen, when did you get married? When did you do your wedding? You didn't invite us? Mm -bam -bam -bam. Show me that's your left hand. Let me check something. We checked her left hand. <laughs> no ring. We were like, are you thinking what I am thinking? We busted into tears. We were like, why now, Queen? Eh? Queen, this was not the plan that we had for you now. We wanted you to find a young, decent man, cut him and get married, have kids for your husband inside your husband's house. This was not the plan we had for you at all, at all, Queen. Eh? Why did you have to fall our hand like this? In fact, out of anger, we pulled out our koboko. No, 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 no. We're very upset with how we began matching to her Instagram page to go and lash her. But as we were going, we had to rethink. We were like, calm down, calm, calm your nerves first. Life is not a movie. And sometimes things do not pan out exactly the same way we have planned them. And so we had to reconsider and started calming our nerves. But before we get on with this, just wait, 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 wait first. You should calm your nerves and listen to me. Are you aware? that our Mastering the Art of Storytelling course is up, running and live. I bet some of you do not know that storytelling is an art, a very valuable human skill that can be learned, can be improved and can be perfected. And storytelling do not just involve sitting down and telling stories of others. Every day of our lives, in our everyday interaction with people, we need a basic knowledge of storytelling. Even as a content creator, you even need it more. Because whether you are doing vlogs, telling stories about your own life, or you're sitting down telling stories of others just like me, the way you tell the stories, how captivating and well-crafted these stories are, the way you blend in your sins and make it interesting, enjoyable, and comprehensible to your audience and your listeners, would guarantee if you're going to be stuck doing the same thing and expecting a different result or if you're going to experience a paradigm shift. So if you're one of these people desirous of experiencing a paradigm shift and you would like me to take a look at your channel, a critical look at your channel, point out your mistakes, give you valuable tips that would work for you, that is an added value in addition to the five course program that I have already put together 
extensive impacting that you are also going to take and if you do not know the cherry on the pie the icing on the cake i will be selecting three lucky youtubers to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with where i'm going to be answering their burning questions and transferring a lot of knowledge too knowledge that i have learned from many years doing this business as well as going to school to study it. All these and more you can get by signing up for the Mastering the Art of Storytelling course. The link of this course will be pinned in the comment section and down in the description box or you can email us at mesomasterclass at gmail.com. Send interested to this email and begin the life-changing revolutionary step to up your game for the best. <laughs> I'll see you then. So my dear brothers and sisters, as I was saying, you know, Jare, we decided to forgive Queen and, you know, just encourage her and say, okay, we understand. Life is not always the way we orchestrate it to be. And it wasn't so long when she had her baby and she announced on Instagram that she had a baby girl. Oh, such cuteness. Gosh. In fact, when we saw the baby, all our anger disappeared. She was so cute cute pretty fluffy and adorable perfect creation by god but there was something yet to be addressed one question one burning question yet to be answered and that is now who give a kaite bele as queen flaunted their child and all their cuteness online we observed that she was completely silent as to who the father of that child was and we began to get concerned we were like okay if queen does not want to what of the father of this beautiful princess why is he not coming out to claim his daughter to post his daughter to acknowledge his child to be identified with them is he not proud or happy to have a baby by queen as we were sitting there wondering before we knew it rumors started spreading here and there rumors as to who the father of queen's baby was and all fingers pointed to a man called kelvin and nabogu aka lord lamba yes we did it see everybody from my country see everybody here drop your car number for five hundred dollars one of you yes <laughs> lord lamba is a skit maker a comedian and a content creator with over 1 billion views across social media platforms. On Instagram alone, he has over 3 million followers. So let us just say he is e-famous. So we approached Lord Lamba. We were like, be our Lord, your Lamba. <laughs> we are hearing rumors that you are the father of Queen's baby. Is it true or is it not true? <laughs> Lord Lamba didn't say. We were like, Lord Lamba, <laughs> Lord Lamba, can you please post this child? Or even if you don't want to post your child, okay, for privacy sake, you don't want to post the face of your child, can you please just acknowledge the child and say, oh yes, my partner and I, my girlfriend and I welcome the baby. Thanks be to God. Can you please acknowledge the relationship you have with Queen and acknowledge the product of that relationship? <laughs> Lord Lamba refused to talk. We called on him. Lord Yelamba, Lord Yelamba, are you going to keep quiet at these rumors? Yet Lord Lamba was mute. When we tried and tried everything we could do to get a word of confirmation, either about Queen or this beautiful baby from Lord Lamba to no avail, we had no other option but to face our front and mind our business. What will we do? Are we going to kill ourselves? We were like, it's all right. Guys, in the crazy week that was, we woke up to fascinating news that Queen Mercy Atang was engaged to her longtime friend and her boyfriend, David, who is a biomedical scientist based in the UK. And boy, we were overjoyed. The fact is that if we choose to be truthful to ourselves, we would admit that it is not every day you see a lady who has just had the baby a few months ago for another guy get engaged to be married by another young, handsome, chocolatey caramel, not UK used man. We're so happy, but little did we know that drama was staring. Immediately, I mean immediately, Queen went public with her engagement. Her baby dada, her former lover, Lord Lamba, took to the internet and started posting that same child that he refused to publicly acknowledge. He started dropping love notes, posting pictures of them together, posting the baby's international passport showing the surname that it is his child the same day. I didn't say one week after, 
the same day. A child that was born about a year ago, this man refused to acknowledge her, acknowledge her existence, publicly acknowledge any ties with her or the mother. I didn't say post the picture, don't get me wrong. It is possible not to post the picture, but publicly acknowledge that you have a child. He didn't recognize her as his until the very day <laughs> that his ex got engaged to be married. Then Lord Lambert started flooding the internet. Different pictures with the baby. That was when we had no other option but to invite the DJ to play us our special number. Lord Lambert did not only stop there. Before we could blink our eyes twice, we began to see court documents flying helter skelter, flying here and there, showing that he had employed services of lawyers to take custody of the child from her mother. A portion of the court documents read that being the father to Princess Kalila. Kelvin Anabog, I did not want another man to act as father to my child. <laughs> Yet you refuse to marry the mother. It's alright. Paragraph 16. That I have a mother and sister who can take care of my child, Princess Kalila Kelvin Anabog, better than a nanny that the respondent, that is Queen, left the child with. 17. That since the respondent has engaged another man, she will have no time, as she has been doing, to take care of our child, Princess Kalila. 18. That without the order of the Honorable Court awarding custody of the child to me, the child will not be properly taken care of. <laughs> the bush kabash. That it will be in the interest of the child that the order being sought be granted, as the respondent will always have reasonable access to the child and that it is in the overall best interest and welfare of the child that the application be granted as prayed. Now this is serious. I do hope you understand all the prayers that Lord Lamba and his council are asking of the courts. They are asking that the child be taken from Queen and handed over to him for him to consequently hand the child over to his mother or his sister to raise the child. Since Queen is engaged to another man, she will be too busy for the child and that he is in the best position to have custody of the one-year-old baby girl. Now at this point, two camps had formed, one for Queen and the other for Lord Lamba. Those that were in Queen's camp verbally berated Lord Lamba, calling him childish, a joy thief and shallow-minded for trying to disrupt the happiness of this lady. They termed him an enemy of progress. A man who never came out to publicly acknowledge this woman or the child that she had for him. They are both public figures. He understood the importance for him to come out with his full chest and stand behind that woman because trolls were all over her. Oh, single mother. Oh, this, this. He knew the role he had to play, but he refused to play it. It is even said that when Queen visited his home, his mother humiliated her. The mother had a doctor on standby to take samples from the child to run DNA. They weren't welcoming at all. And now this woman has found love with a man that is ready to accept her flaws and all. A mother-in-law that would kiss her in the lip and welcome her with open arms and a father-in-law that would hold her arms in the streets and walk with her with pride. She has finally found a place where she is loved and appreciated and now he's coming out with all sorts of drama from wanting to take the child from her to accusing her of all sorts of things to posting a child that he never acknowledged since she was born. They wondered how Lord Lamba would ever imagine that his sister and his mother is better suited to care for a child when that child's mother is alive, active, healthy and responsible. They concluded by calling him a chinch, a bed bug, a bugaboo. Those kinds of men that would not want to have you and will not want to let you go. But for the camp of Lord Lamba, 
they described these assertions above as gibberish. They were like the man has absolutely all the right in the world to fight for his child and just because he didn't come out on social media posting the child does not mean that he doesn't love his child or wants the best for her. They argue that Queen is getting married to a man based in the UK so she's certainly going to relocate with the man's child. Has she had any discussion with the father of the child? Are they in agreement? Or does she think that she can just wake up one morning and take another man's child and abscond with another man without the father of that child being 1000% in the know and approving the movement of his child from one country to another. They argued further that Queen is a socialite and by virtue of her job, she will be up and about traveling from one place to another. So who does the care of that child rest in? Another man there insists that Lord Lamba is right to be uncomfortable with his little daughter in the care and custody of another man who is not her father, given what is happening now with men and little children. They threw their weight solidly behind Lord Lamba. And then the argument between these two camps ensued on social media. So on this note, I would like to ask, what do you think about this situation? Do you think that Queen is right for bullshitting the man and moving on with her daughter? Or do you think that Lord Lamba is right to fight for custody of his child? Seems he does not want another man to raise his daughter. Do let me get your thoughts down in the comment section. And I'm sure that at this point, a lot of you are curious. And you are like, oh yes, Paris and Neze, we're going to let you know our opinion. But we want to know yours. We want to know what the law says in this situation. What is the law's position on custody of a child? I will tell you. And to answer that, I'm going to read a little portion of the Matrimonial Causes Act for you. Section 7, subsection 1 of the Matrimonial Causes Act provides In the proceeding with respect to the custody, guardianship, welfare, advancement, or education of children of the marriage. The court shall have regard <laughs> to one thing, the interest of those children as the paramount consideration and subject thereto. The court may make such order in respect to those matters as it thinks proper. Who gets the custody of a child after divorce? Relax. Relax, don't be quick to say, oh Neze, my head aches. You know that all these laws, they, it is very difficult for a layman to understand all these legal jargons. Can you please explain it to us in layman terms? And I'm here telling you, it will be my pleasure. So what this law says, that it is only one thing <laughs> that the court will put into consideration when determining the custody of a child. And that thing, the paramount consideration, according to this section of the Matrimonial Causes Act, which is the law that governs family issues and family matters, it says the interest of those children or the interest of that child. So the word interest of the child seems a bit vague and open-ended and that is where the discretion of the courts would come into play. So many things can constitute interest. The emotional connection or attachment that that child has to a particular parent can be of interest. Knowing that if you detach that child from that parent that he or she is fond of already, it would have a negative impact on that child. That is a consideration that the court would give. The gender, for example. Hardly is there any court that would award the custody of a little baby girl to a man, to her father, especially when the mother is physically and mentally capable of caring for that child. So the emotional feelings or the sentiments of the parents are not in consideration. <laughs> the court does not care if you will die if your child leaves you or if the child has to relocate to the UK and you won't get to see the child often. Your emotions is inconsequential. The only thing that matters to the court is the welfare and the interest of the child involved. So at this point, I'll throw it up to my learned colleagues on Nezaville. What do you think would be the outcome of this institution that has been filed by Lord Lamba? What do you think would be the best interest of this child in question, a one-year-old baby girl? Do you think that Lord Lamba should get a chance to be with his daughter and have his mother and his sister raise her instead of having her whisked to another country to be raised by another man that is not her father? Or do you believe that Queen, the mother of this baby, who has been caring for this child and who this child has been in her custody is the best fit 
for this job? Let us have that discuss down in the comment section. It is important that I bring to your notice that a few hours ago, Queen and her new man David tied the knot traditionally and are now officially husband and wife. Say a big rousing congratulations to them down in the comment section. So guys, yes, we have come to the end of today's video. If you're new here, seeing me for the first time, or if you've been watching without subscribing, what exactly are you waiting for? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop all your comments. How do you feel about this case? Drop all your reactions down in the comment section and stay glued because we have so much more coming your way. Don't also forget to begin your participation in our fully packed masterclass and elevate your game. It's me, your girl, Barista Neze, and this is Nezeville. I'll see you guys in my next one. For now, bye.